to another prepping team video. That's right. Um, you did, and to my left, I'm Abishai, and we we're about to get into another prepping team video. That's right. Uh, you know, we've been prepping and we've been preparing, and we getting ready for real world situations. Is that gonna be our word for today? Yeah, I think we're gonna go with real world situations. I like that real world situation. So, guess what we're gonna talk about today? What? We're gonna talk about a real world situation. Right, so um, when we prepping, we're talking about preparing for real world situations, right? Right. So how how can you really prepare for real world situations? You know, it's um basically you you see a real world situation happen, right. and you look at it and say, okay, what was done right? What was done wrong? What could have been done? What could have been fixed? <clears throat> That's how we prepare for these real world situations, right? So, we're going to talk about a real world situation that happened to me that I was somewhat prepared for, but it was some things that I could have did better, uh, some things that, um, um, that I had to make, I wasn't prepared for, and some things that I was 100% prepared for. Right. So, we're going we're gonna to get into that. And, and most things that, you know, in, in a real world situation, when we look at those things, like I said, we can go back and see what we did wrong. And I think this is very important to do videos like this. So now we can go back and analyze, hey, I could have did this better to make the next person better, right? Hey, you know, it was funny is that when this happened to me, I was on the phone with somebody <laughs> and he was like, videotaping. Right. I'm like, I'm not videotaping it. I'm going to look crazy. It was like, we got to videotape. We got to do it right. for the prepping team. Right. And you know what? Took out my camera. We're going to watch it, right? So what? So let's kind of talk about what happened, right? Okay. I'm coming um, coming back from a uh, vacation. Vacation. Uh, as a matter of fact, I haven't slept. Stayed up the whole night. Um, I had to get on a plane, so I didn't go to sleep. Didn't want to miss my flight. Had to get there earlier, so I'm early. So I'm up all night until the next day. Uh, land. And, you know, uh, from the airport to my house, we're probably looking at about two hours so I'm approximately about 30 minutes away from my house maybe 45 minutes away from my house so I've been driving and what happens I roll over an object in the street right as soon as I hit the object guess what cuckoo -cuck -cuck. you had a flat I already know what happened wow flat tire so you know so I'm a blinker get over and you know what let's just let's see See what we got because before we go to that, I mean, this happens every day, every single day, every day, every day. I, I think maybe a month ago it happened to me on the interstate. I was, I was just so happy to get off the interstate and was able to uh, fix my tire, but it happens a lot more than we think. All right. So let's dive into some of the things that we can do better. All right. Let's get it. Let's see how we can prepare for this. All right. All right. All right. That's me, and uh, we call that uh, we call that Blackie. Right, my trusty black. They had to come for a long time. So, first of all, let's let's slow down. Now, uh, last we talked about was what? What we talked about? We talked about PPE. Right. So guess what I had with me? You had the PPE. I had my PPE. That's with right. That's what I'm That's talking right. about when I talk about prep. That's right. So guess what? I go out, throw on my gloves. All right. And I got my knee pads. Right. Let, let me ask you a question. Why would you, in a situation like that, why would you need gloves? Well, okay. So a lot of different reasons. One, um, I'm going to be touching metal. Right. Hot tire. Tires are hot. Uh, me, uh, metal items. Uh, I'm going to be working on the ground. I have my hands on the ground. I'm going to be grabbing, um, uh, using the, the jack to try and jack the car up. I'm going to be doing a lot of different manual things. Uh, to do so, as also I don't know what's in my tire. Right. There are metal wires in tires. A lot of people don't understand that, but it's metal wires in tire. I could reach my hand around there, and as you know, bam, cut my hand open. Right. Now I got a problem. Right. right? I could be. Um, <laughs> if I cut my head open, I could be um, bleeding out. Bleeding out, or I could be uh, combat in effect. Combat in effect. I word from the last video. From the last right. video, right? right. So. You never know what can happen, so it's always best what to deal with the PPE. Right. Cover it. My hands are protected. Right. Now I gotta 
work on the on the ground, right? So guess what? About to do what? Put my knee pads on. Right. One of my most underrated items is the knee pads. Okay. Right. So, all right, we're gonna stop right here because I want to go into some some things that I didn't do right. Okay. Just right off the gate. All right. First of all, probably because I was tired. You know, uh, I'm I'm not a young man anymore, so staying up all night into the next day is not something that I recommend doing and driving. I probably should have slept. I probably should have stayed at where at my brother-in-law's. Probably should have stayed at my brother-in-law's. Probably should have got me 30 minutes, an hour, two hours, whatever. I, I don't know. I don't nap. Right. So I probably would have been there all night. But I didn't have nowhere to be. No hurry. Probably should have just went to sleep. But I did. Right? Don't get on the road when you're tired. Right? I probably should have been able to avoid that um, whatever it was that I rolled over. I probably could have avoided it. It all happened in slow motion. But I just wanted to get home. Right? right? I wanted to get home. You know how it is. You're out of town. I think it was out of town for, you know, over a week. I'm ready to get home. Right. So I was ready to get home. Right? Don't drive. And, and, and look about the location. Um, is that the interstate? That is definitely the interstate. Yeah. Man. Okay. So you had a, you had a flat... Tire on the interstate. Flat tire on the interstate, right? right? Not, but you can look. My flashers, my four ways, mm-hmm. they're not on. Right. Should have turned my four ways on. Right. Right. Very why? Important. Why do we turn the four ways on? Because you want people to know that there's a hazard in front of them. They won't, you know, if you got the hazard on, uh, people that's driving up to you, they can, they'll be able to recognize there's something wrong with this car on the side. I, mean, I, I see flashers. Um, you're visible. People will avoid you. They tend to avoid that. Right, right. Because you never know. You got a lot of truck drivers driving. You got a lot of people that was doing something stupid like me. Didn't sleep. Right? So sometimes they need something to, some kind of visual stimul- stimulation so they'll be able to know, hey, there's something going on right here. Right. Also, um, I should have raised my hood. Right? Why, why is it important to raise your hood? Well, also for to be able to be seen. But somebody knows, you think that somebody working on this car, right? So they'll be looking for some, maybe if I peeked over or whatnot, you'll know it's a person there, right? It's also, it's letting people know, hey, if somebody here, maybe I can help, right? Something that happened soon as I finished this was the highway patrol, um, I don't know, safety people, they pulled over and was like, hey, you need some help? I was like, All right, you know, I'm done. I needed help, but I'm done now, right? So, all right, let's get back to the video, all right? All right? So, I put my gloves on, right? And this is a situation where you are by yourself. You're on a busy interstate. I see trucks passing by, cars passing by. Um, it's daytime. Now, imagine this happening to you at night. Right, right. Man, that would be... And you know what? I did not... I did have a flashlight. Okay. I had a flashlight, but I didn't have a head flashlight right because guess what i couldn't have been able to hold a flashlight and change the tire at the same time wasn't gonna happen i would have needed a head a headlight so that's something else too make sure you got a headlight but we're gonna talk about stuff with your head all right so put my knee pads on if i didn't have knee pads on right now hold on pause right here if i didn't have knee pads on right now i would be in trouble right because that ground was hard there's rocks and everything Guess what? I was able to sit up right there, put my knee pads on, bam, get down on my knees, and was able to, guess what? Start doing the work right. to get my tire off. Right. right? Now, one thing you want to make sure when taking a tire off, you don't want your first time to take a tire off of that of that vehicle you're in to be <laughs> when you're on the side, on the of, the side road. of the road. Or at night. Or at night, right? So guess what? If you have a car, you on a car, guess what, it's a prep team, prepare. If you never had a flat tire in your car, guess what you need to do? On the, in the morning, the daytime, guess what, on, on Sunday or whatnot, go outside, change that tire, right. right? See how that jack works, see what you gotta do. How do you take the wheels off? You need to learn and do these things and be familiar with this before you're in this situation, all right? All right, so let's see what we got going on. So. All right, so I got the, um, look at me showing off my gloves. <laughs> I can't believe you got me to uh, record. But, so, that's what I'm doing. I'm taking everything off, right? right? So, 
Now, pause. I got this little bitty um, crowbar like thing to take it off, right? That come with the car. Come with the car. Right. Probably should go to uh, AutoZone, Harbor Freight, Amazon.com, Walmart. Walmart. Probably should have bought a four way, right? Very good. Something better. You see it, it's kind of like a cross or whatnot. We'll you know, put it up there so you can see it. Probably like a cross or a four way, right? Something I can have a little more grip to turn, take the stuff, take the um, the uh, lugs off. We we'll probably made stuff a lot easier, right. right? But I was able to get it done, right? I was able to get it done because guess what? I've changed, I've had to change pretty much every one of those tires before and the blowout or just some situation myself so I'm very familiar with that car uh, like that lock you know something about those tires they all every each and every one of them they and they had a locking lug mm -hmm. meaning right. that you couldn't just use a regular one you had to use an adapter to get right. one of the lugs off but guess what you want to make sure you know what those things are right and I put them in the same place every single time so I know it's there right right very important those are you, you won't be able to get that tire off unless you have that Right. So make sure you know where your your lock is to be able to get that off your car. Because you would not be able to get it off without it. Right. Some cars have it, some cars don't. Right. I really don't know why. I don't think nobody's trying to steal my 15s. <laughs> I hope not. Alright, let's hit the play, let's hit the play. Let it go. We'll let it play while we talk while we still talking. Right? So some other things we can talk about, right? So um that spare tire that's right there. Right? Certain some things that um all cars should have a spare. Absolutely. But when was the last time you looked at your spare? Yes. Right? How do you know if that spare is good, if it has air in it, if it doesn't have a leak in it? How do you know? Yeah, I think that, you know, periodically, you know, and it's, it's a free of charge. You can go to your neighborhood uh, tire shop, roll in there, get your tires checked. And by the way, could you check the pressure in my spare tire? Make sure it's free of charge. Most tire shops will even charge you to check that spare tire, but make sure you check the tire pressure because they will go flat. They will run out and they'll be flat. You pull out a, a flat uh, spare when you need it, man, you're in really bad shape. Right, right, right. Now, pause real quick. Um, now, I'm telling you something. The reason why I know that you should do this is because I would say maybe around um, eight months ago, I had a flat tire, changed my flat tire on the side of the road, put the spare on, was ready to go, drove out, coo 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 Guess what? The spare was flat too. Flat. It was hard on the interstate. Wow. Wow. So now I know I bought a brand new tire, spare tire, so I knew that that tire was good. Right. But before, it's been years before I really looked at that tire, you know? Or, or change it or you know so guess what when you get your oil change mm -hmm. right you rotate your tires just like you were saying just like hey look can you check my spare and make sure it's good they'll do it they'll, you know free of charge right yeah. so now i got the jack that came with the car got it underneath there right there right now this jack it sucks i'm just being honest it's most most factory jacks and cars they are it's the it was the worst the, the jack thing on the car. ever. Guess what? If I didn't have knee pads on or yeah. gloves on. Yeah, I I could I would have got it done. Right. You know, probably hours later I would have got it done, but I would have been in pain. My knee would have been hurting. You know, I, I would have been cursing. Who knows? I would have been mad, upset. Maybe by that time that dude would have pulled up. Right. You know, because I definitely would have still been doing it if I didn't have my knee pads on or my gloves. Right. But. Talking about a jack, right? Guess what? Like you said, jacks to come with the car, try it out, test it out. Some jacks ain't easy, you know? Uh, I have a, tr a truck where to use a jack for my truck is a lot difficult, right? It's very difficult to use it. Uh, I've had other cars with certain jacks that are weird, you know? You gotta put things together and, and be able to, I mean, it's a lot. Yep. So you wanna make sure you do it. But one thing you can do you can buy an aftermarket jack. Absolutely. I think that's uh, definitely recommended um, for a car. You know, if you're going to change the tire, that, that saves you a lot of time having a proper jack. Yes. Because you will spend a lot of time on the side of the road with that factory jack just trying to get the car. Go ahead and play it. 
because yeah, because you know, if you watch this, we speeding this up, you know. So, but this is taking a long time. I'm under there twirling this thing, twirling. We had another one on deck, we've been pop, 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 maybe three, four pushes, bam, carving up, been over with, done, easy, right? So, that's what we're doing right now. Um, that's what I'm doing right now. Guess what? Even even with the knee pads on, it's still uncomfortable right. being in this position. And, and right. mind you, you got vehicles passing by, flying 60, 70 miles per hour, shaking the vehicle. Right. It can be very dangerous out there. I, you want to really be finished as soon as possible. Right. right. So while we got this playing, let's talk about some some things that could have been done better. Okay, so we got the tire off, right? Got the tire off. Look, I'm looking like, oh yeah, it's all good. I'm tired, really breathing hard. Right. Uh, I know I'm on camera, so I'm acting like it's easier than it is. But I look, seen it, it's messed up, right? So this is what I do. I go and I take that tire and I put it under my car. Why would you do that? You do that because, just like you said, this car is passing by, it's wind, it's that little bitty jack, that little makeshift $50, my first jack, if it breaks, if it falls over now my car's on the ground right now we got a real problem yes. i can't get it up i gotta call a wrecker you know we out of money or i could be under the car and guess what it can fall down and it can fall on me right, right? so you want to use that tire get it under your car you know and my dad taught me this when i was a young man right. you know so guess what right. so everybody wouldn't talk things like this right that's why we doing these stuff like this right so now I'm trying to put the um, tire on so why we got this going on Tired, it's hot, you know. Uh, and just something else to put into the minds of the viewers, you know, if you think in terms of prepping, right? Um, you're trying to, you're bugging out, you're trying to get to point uh, B, and you have a flat. You know, there's no record service, no AAA, your cell phone. You know, you you're gonna have to do this on your own, right? You may have kids in the car. You know, you're gonna have to get out there and change that tire. Right, 100%. But that doesn't say that you shouldn't have AAA. Right. You no, should no. absolutely have some type of AAA, some type of roadside assistance. If you can afford it, you should have it. Most insurances, right. you can get that added in. Maybe it costs maybe like $5, four, three, four, five dollars $4, $5. But guess what? Right. Hey, it'll, it'll work. 100% work. Right. You know, nah, just what I just did. I'm trying to put the tire on the wrong way. You know, because you know what? I'm tired. I haven't went to sleep. Right. I know which way I should put it on there, but guess what? I put it on the wrong way. You know why I did that? I'm tired. I'm tired. Right? Combat. But guess, almost combat. Almost combat and ineffective, right? But something, you know, um, if I say you got to make sure you get familiar with these things before, right? All right, so let's, um, let's go ahead. Let's put the pause on real quick. Okay. So, we're going to go with some it. items. You know us. That's, that's right. We got we're items. We're always going to have items. For our viewers, right? All right, perfect. All right, right. So what's this? It's a roadside emergency kit. Okay. I didn't have this at the time, but it would have been nice if I had it at the time because we could have we could have prepared. So let's let's go in this and see what we got. Let me show you. Let's see what we got. All right. Wow, look at this right here. A yellow vest. A neon. neon. A neon yellow vest. So what, what we got? What, what can we do with this vest? Oh man, you put this on, you automatic. Even at night, this is gonna show up from a long distance, right? Yep. So as soon as that those headlights hit this vest, they're gonna be like, hey, that's the person. Right. Not only that, but you got the reflector on here. Right. So that they'll see that also. So in the daytime, it's you're seen. Nighttime, right. you're seen. Right. Right. So that's okay, that's good. Very important. All right, let's see what else we got here. What else we got here? Hmm. What is this right here? I know what it is. It is a triangle, Tri reflective triangle, okay. right? right? And guess what? <laughs> you want to go through these things, so when you, at night, you already know how to put it together. Okay. Right? So what is this thing for? Let's see. I'll put it where y'all can see. What is it? What do you think this is for? Man, uh, you sit this behind your vehicle. This is another tool to let people know that there is a vehicle here. There's something here uh, to let people know. They also have uh, the flares. I've seen police officers and sheriff's officers with the flares. They have little light flares that you can see sitting on the road. But it's just another tool to let you know, let somebody know that hey, I'm here. Right. Because because in the video where I was, you could see the car from a while. It's long. Yeah. But what if I was on a curve? 
on right. a winding road at night somewhere. Guess what? You got cars coming around. You know, that's what? Put this thing out there. They'll see that and be like, wait a minute. Caution. Right. Let's slow down. So you should probably, what, put it, what, 10, 15 feet away from uh, the car? Let's see, let's see, let's see. It, it kind of tells you. It says minimum 100 meters. 100 meters. Maximum 100 meters. So okay. I guess they're saying 100 meters. Okay. Whatever 100 meters is. So that's not what we'll we'll figure out what 100 yeah, meters is. figure it out. Just hit the Google. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Got some other stuff right here. Ah, what is this? Poncho. A poncho. Why would I need a poncho? Because what if it was raining? Man. If it was raining, I would have been upset. Right. Right? Like, because water, what's, what's the big deal about It's pink. They got me a pink poncho, right? They'll definitely see that. Right? Breast cancer awareness. Right. Right? But look. I already got a flat tire. I got to change it. It's raining. It's dark. I'm mad. But then, at least I can get back into my seat and I don't have to wet up my seat. Right, because you know, a sprinkle is one thing, but you know, it could pour down rain. Right. You know, that's something that just this is something that'll make your day better. All right, so poncho. All right, let's see what else we got here. Uh, what do we got here? Ah, an emergency blanket. Wow, an emergency blanket. What were you, what's this for? Man, I, I would use this to take a nap in the car. I guess if I get stranded and it's cold, um, you know, let's say I didn't have any tools, I had this. And I had to sit there all night. Right, 100%. Because, say, if your, uh, your car's not running, right, battery messed up, guess what? It's going to be, and if it's cold, you live somewhere where it's cold. Right. Right? This right here, it'll, kept, it'll help keep heat, your body heat in, so you'll be able to be okay. You won't freeze to death, right? Now, where we, where I live at, you probably won't ever have to really deal with that, but certain climates, you just never know, right? Right, you know, you can get stuck in an ice storm, snowstorm. Right. You know, we had that happen in this area before where people were stranded overnight. You know, that's, that's a good tool to have. Yeah, and, so, and in places where that's not a normal thing, we don't have that kind of thing. It's not cold. I'm sure in states like uh, Colorado, um, they probably, people probably ride around with big heated, big blankets in their, um, in their car and stuff like that. Or the roadways is set up to where it's easy to get people off the roads, right? right. You know, in the south, because when it's snow, it's over with. One inch. Right. One inch. Right. Sprinkle. Sprinkle. All right. Let's see what else we got. All right. All right. We got ourselves a first, first aid kit. Right. Right. Probably got band aids in here. You so, know. So if you grab that tire and you puncture your hand, you could you could put a band aid on. You can right. Advantage your first aid. Yeah. Right. So gauze, uh, different wraps, things like that. Now this is not the best first aid kit, but it's something. It's something right. better than nothing. Right. right. But if you're if you really are a prepper, you're always gonna have some type of real first aid kit with you, right? right. But let's say you're beginning, right? We talk about this all the time. You know, it's, it's levels. We start from the beginning. This right here it gets you right. Got alcohol in the air. Things to clean a wound. Band aids, wraps. It'll get you by, right? Yeah, let's see. Let's see what else we got here. What else we got here? Can't leave home without. Zip ties. Zip ties. Zip ties. Guess what? You know, some, something could have happened on the road. Dealing with a hose in the car or something like right. that. It may be in the way. Uh, something could have fell off the side of the car. It's hanging down. Guess what? A zip tie. Zip, zip. Tied up. Right. You'd be good for a little while. All right. So we got zip ties in here. Wait, are you about to say something about the zip ties? No, I, lo I love zip ties. Uh, you know, also, too, the uh, retractable zip ties would be a nice upgrade to this kit. Yes, definitely, retract because ain't nothing worse than having a zip tie sudden and then you gotta cut it off, right? This way you you retract the wound, that's an upgrade, you'll be able to use it, right. take it off, you take it off. Alright. Alright, what do we got here? Look like we have ourselves a seatbelt cutter. Alright. Uh, seatbelt cutter and a glass breaker. Alright, so um something happens, maybe the car tips over or whatnot, you stuck. Seatbelt malfunction. I don't know. We hear about this in movies. Yeah. They make these for a reason, right? right? Well, we do see about the stuff in movies, and you say, "Nah, this can't happen to me." This that. But these things are made for a reason. So you got this part right here, seatbelt. Cut it right open. The window. You kind of get out. You, just, you can't get out. Guess what? Wow, that's the window. It's not a movie where you can just punch the, the mirror and right. glass is gonna break. Right. right. So 
you know, you may want to keep this somewhere at arm's length. Right. right. You could be trapped. Like I said, you can, like you say, somebody's tired, like you was, you know, they went off in a ravine. And most of those newer cars, I believe, they lock, they'll lock you in. I think the seatbelt locks you down in those newer, newer cars. So, you know, it's a good tool to have. You cut you yourself out or maybe somebody else out. All right. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, I've got a window scraper. So, hey, you may you never know. Nice. We don't deal with that too much, but you may have some ice. So you'll scrape the ice off the window. Uh, look at this. We got gloves. Got to have gloves. Right? So, these are not the best gloves, but guess what? I would have rather had these than no gloves out there on the side of the road. Right? So, we got gloves. Um, we got a tire pressure reader. Right? So, just say, um, you know, you're trying to see if... Pump, say you had to pump some gas. Some um, gas. Some air to your tire. Right. That's what how we know. Because most people sometimes will carry those uh, s small, uh, portable air pumps. Right. And you can pump the tire, but that's a good way to check and see how much air you got. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. So now we got, oh, tape. Electrical tape. Electrical tape. Now, it's only a little. So, you know, it would be good to get some more. Right. You know, my pops always told me, hey, got to have duct tape. Got to duct tape so this this, this thing yeah no duct tape in here but it got some type of tape so it's like we said may have a bus hose you can be out somewhere i remember i remember it was for a long time ago I, me and a buddy went out we went out in the backwoods to this club out in the backwoods you know a little discotheque nestled in the backwoods of clinton louisiana and guess what on my way back in my 84 chevy impala bam hose bus but guess what i had duct tape I, li I listen. Duct tape was able to put it back. Still had a little water coming out, and so we had an adventure where we would stop at people's houses and fill uh, my water back up so I could make it home. Right? We didn't get shot. Hey, did it work? We made it home. <laughs> hey, there you go. All right. So tape, gotta have tape. Electrical tape. Guess what? Upgrade your kit. Duct tape. Right? Ah, look at this. We got a little eight and one screwdriver. Multi tool. Multi tool. Right? Yeah. Now, if you, uh, this is pretty nice right here. That's very nice. You know, you never know. You never know what you may need this for. Like, guess what? You may have to, uh, you you may ha you may have a hose that busts. Right. You may be able to unscrew the hose. You may be able to cut it and then put it back up to it. Guess what? You're going to need something to screw it or unscrew it. You're going to need this type of thing. Right, because most of those hoses, uh, the good ones, they, oh, they, they have a clamp that uh, oh, light. got a light on it. Yeah. Hey, hey, even one screwdriver. Why? This is, this is nice right here. It's nice. It's very nice. You know, I, I mean, I probably wouldn't buy it. <laughs> it's nice with the purchase. But it's nice with it. this kit right here, right? Absolutely. Comes with its levels. You got this, you know, there it is. Well, let's see what else we got. We got. All right. Jumper cables. Jumper cables. Self explanatory. Self explanatory. Because right. ain't nothing worse than having somebody going, uh, if, it's, if ain't nothing better than having to have a jump and just standing there and be like, I got cables. Right. I mean, I'll just pull my car up to you, you're done. But it's messed up when you got to be like, you give people the opportunity to say, I don't have cables, right? Then right. People, everybody don't want to help everybody. It's right. a scary day. So guess what? They'd be like, oh, I don't have any cables. They got cables, but they don't want to help you. Right. You got your cables out already? Ain't much nobody can say. They just have to say no. Right? right? Cables, bam. Are oh, these the best cables? No, they're not the best cables, but they'll get the job done. But guess what? If you got a truck, a big uh, SUV, Probably want to upgrade to some bigger cables. Yeah. If you better get more more power going through. What else, man? It's a lot of stuff in here. It's a lot, man. Ah, got a little 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 tote um, rope toe or something strap. like that. Right. Tote strap. Say, man, you have to like pull it. Like, you may be out of gas. Be like, hey, I just pull you right down the street. Bam. Bam. You got it. Already got it set up. All right. I'm, I'm liking this. This is nice, man. What we got here? We got a. Uh, Say I'm stuck in the mud, uh, stuck in something. I can take my little shovel out, maybe dig around my tire, uh, put some branches around it. But that, hey, that's comes in handy. Um, is it a compass on the back as well? It's got a compass on wow. it. Wow. Look, you. Now I've put this together before. That's how I was able to put it together like right. I did. Make sure you go through and fix your stuff. But yeah, you got a compass on the top, so you know where you're at. Right. All right. We're gonna. 
We're gonna have some videos to hear about maps and things like that. But you wanna know where you at, all right? Look, I got a little saw here. So in case you get a piece of paper. Now, I'm not saying you're gonna be able to do a lot with this, but you never know. You never know. Well, like I was saying, if my, let's say I'm stuck in the mud, right? I can take this shovel, I can take this little ax, maybe cut a couple of branches off, put them under that tire, and probably get myself out. Probably get yourself out. Look like you got a can opener here. Yep. Right? So maybe you in the car, you got your blanket, and you're hungry. Exactly. You may have a, a can of beans. I thought it was going to say sardines. Nah, sardines ain't smart. You oh, okay. Don't <laughs> okay. talk about sardines. No. <laughs> smart. See, that's it. You know, you, beans, right. Yeah, get a thing of beans. You could have, you could have one guy groceries. You got another right. can of goods in there. Guess what? You got a can over. Bam. There it is. Nice hey, it's a nice tool for this. And guess what? This thing didn't cost that much money. This was like maybe what 30 bucks? 30 bucks. 30 30 maybe bucks. maybe 30, 30 35 bucks. Now you you could probably find one of these for about 20 bucks. You know? So you go through all this, you know. Hey, this right here would have made something better. I could have put the vest on, right? If I didn't have gloves, I got a set of gloves right here. Right? Um uh right here the triangle. Could have, uh, people could have been able to see me. So this, this, this right here could have helped me a little more, right? right? Or made me a lot, like made made this a lot safer. Right. And like I said, you can take the basics of these items and you can upgrade this to whatever suits you. You know, uh, you know, in the south we probably would need an ice scraper here or something. But uh, I would definitely probably upgrade the gloves, uh, first aid kit. But hey, it's, it's whatever you're willing to spend, you know, that's what. It, that's what I probably have a cell phone charger in there. Yeah, yeah, cell so, uh, One of the ones that's already. Yeah, the portable ones. Yeah, the portable ones. That's a good idea, too. So, um, let's see. Anything else, anything else we're we missing? Something that could have made this a lot easier. Um, I think that's it. For us, you know, being on the side of the road, changing flats, I definitely think, like we went over, make sure you're checking your tires. Make sure that you're checking your spare tire. Make sure you know how to get your spare tire out. Make sure you know where it is. In some vehicles, in my truck, I know my spare is under the truck. So I have to pull out another tool and wind the spare down to the ground. And that's and that's why we're saying, right. make sure that the first time you do this is not on the side of the road Absolutely. doing an emergency. Absolutely. Prepare, prepare, prepare. 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 Right? Make sure you wear a glove. You don't want to be combat um, ineffective. ineffective, right? So what we're talking about right now is real world situations, right? right. So um, I think that's it for today. I think so too. All right, well look, hey, preppers, preppers, guess what? Continue to prep, continue to watch the videos. Right. Like I said before, I know you forgot, I'm your den to my left. I'm gonna have a shot. All right, and hey, look, make sure you get your spy dates in. That's right. Study, prepare, apply. apply. That's right. All right.